here's uh, Jim in Brooklyn. Hello, Jim in Brooklyn. Hi, Riley. Okay, attention one. Okay, attention one. Yeah, I know you said that when you make love to someone, um, you make them younger. Uh, oh. I was wondering, uh, does that make Elon nine years old because you fuck him in the ass? Uh, uh, well, no, no, good man. Uh, however, I'd be glad to make your old lady younger. Send her over. <laughs> All right, here's uh, Gus in New Mexico. Hello, Gus in New Mexico. Hello, Riley. How are you? Okay, Gus. My question to you is, um, I heard you have to move into a new apartment and stuff. Um, right. Are you, are you going to be able to suck uh, Iran's dick yeah. there? Get uh, all right, uh, here's a... Uh, <laughs> no, uh, Gus, uh, going back to doing what you're doing, son. <laughs> and sh shame on you and everything. I hope your old lady ain't there to hear that about what you've been doing. Next call, this is Mike in Brooklyn. Hello, Mike in Brooklyn. Hi, uh, Larry, Oak Cut Engine 1. How are you? Okay, Oak Cut Engine 1, Mike. Uh, I had a quick question. Um, yeah, I know that, uh, that Steven Singer and Jewelers are a uh, sponsor of yours. Right. Uh, I was wondering if uh, if you go to Stephen Singer's to get uh, fancy necklaces to give to Iran to suck your penis. <laughs> uh, no, no, hey kid, uh, hey kid, Stephen Singer's not sent sent me anything, uh, anything of that nature, and what have you. Uh, and so, but uh, you go there, and he'll give you a good deal for you, you know, to get your boyfriend to do that to you. I'm sure he will. I am sure. <laughs> Any idiot could come up with that. This is Mike in, I don't know where he's at. Mike. Mike? Uh, Riley, hi. Oak Cut Tension 1. Oak Cut Tension 1, Mike. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to say, uh, fuck you and your gay son. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, now, super, now that, is, that is cruel, man. Big man. I'm trying to talk about my son. Cruel, too. Yeah, and I don't like that either. So Me either. I'm going to send something on you. Uh, Mike. <laughs> Next call. This is uh, Bill in Las Vegas. Hello, Bill in Las Vegas. Hey, Riley. Love the show. Thanks. Um, yeah, I was. I mean, Stern's got to give you a raise here one of these days. I think I heard that there's three of you now living in there. In that yeah, yeah, apartment. yeah. Matt Panther and I. I'm going to. Uh, I'm going to introduce him too. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to get his own headset. Uh, hopefully by next week, so he can chime in as he so desires. But uh, oh, as far awesome. I'll add some new spice to the show, you know. Oh, definitely. And, uh, Mm -hmm. what, what's it like living together? Is it just like gay sex all the time? Or? Uh, well, <laughs> no, son. Uh, we all got uh, we all got lovely women. Uh, you sandwich you know. him like an Oreo cookie, you and Iran? Yeah. Oh no, we got uh, lovely women, and Iran can get his own women, son. I I do not have enough of them to share. Where did but thanks anyway. Right? And uh, but and <laughs> on top of that, we are willing uh, very well. Uh, when we dress up in our like tutus and all that, we want you to. We want, yeah, we want you to send your. We want you to send your old lady over here, okay? Oh yeah, yeah, and yeah. Right. All you, all you have to do then is try to get to, uh, try to get the bitch to come back to you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, man. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. Attention one. How are you? Attention one. How are you, Paul? I, I'm doing all right, Riley. Uh, yeah, I just wanted to to ask you. Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, fuck you, buddy, and uh, fuck yeah, you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Now, 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 see, you giving Minnesota a bad name. <laughs> <laughs> Those are some nice, lovely people up there in Minnesota. I thought they were too. Yeah, and, and, and why would uh, they have you living among? Yeah, they should put you out of that state. <laughs> <laughs> because you are uh, a wretched fool. Uh, <laughs> yeah, now, uh, <laughs> Stephen, uh, people, we're being brought to you by Stephen Singer Jewelers. Visit IHateStevenSinger.com today. Okay, next call. This is Kevin in Georgia. Hello, Kevin in Georgia. Hey, Riley. Oh, Quartan One. Oh, Quartan One, Kevin. Uh, shout out to you, first time caller, long time listener. Well, thanks, and shout out to you and your lovely family. Thanks, you too, on this holiday. Uh, my question is about the uh, Omsa Tri Nexus. Oh, okay. Is the uh, is the Omsa Tri Nexus when uh, you and uh, Iran double team your son? 
<laughs> uh, no, no, son, but I think uh, that uh, you should have a copy of that Omsa Tri Nexus, even in as much as it holds a lot of power and what have you. And don't y'all go double teaming them kids over there, here? Mm-hmm. Here's uh, Su- Summit in New Jersey. Hello, Summit in New Jersey. Hey, guys, how you doing? Good okay. Evening. Good evening. Uh, mm-hmm. Uh, I've heard you uh, speak in the past about how uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind brings back the most memories for you. What? And uh, I-, I was wondering if um, if uh, if uh, you and Iran had the most memories brought back from Brokeback Mountain. Oh, uh, well, no, 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 good man. Uh, and uh, uh, actually, I never did go to see the movie because uh, it wasn't, you know, my genre of things to watch. But I understand it was a good movie. Okay. <laughs> Next call, this is John in Denver. Hello, John in Denver. Hey, guys. Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, John. You. Yeah, I bet. I mean, I bet you guys are going to have fun stuffing each other's asshole with penis all week. <laughs> uh, well, no, no, uh, but uh, you carry on. Just carry on doing that, okay? His daddy taught him how to do that. Yeah, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Next call, this is Oliver in Georgia. Hello, Oliver. Hey, Riley, what's up? How are you? Oh, okay, Oliver. Well, uh, I'm really glad you, uh, you're you showing your support for the Occupy Wall Street movement. Well, definitely. Mm-hmm. I've, uh, I've personally been involved with it in uh, the Occupy Atlanta movement for quite some time myself. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I'm, I'm really glad to hear your support for, their, for our movement. Uh, we've been down here for like a long time now, for about two months. Uh, right. How long have you occupied Iran's balls in your teeth? <laughs> Uh, well, well, kid, I tell you what, you keep occupying the courthouse <laughs> and get pepper sprayed because it's only a food product. <laughs> All right? It's <laughs> only a food product. <laughs> Degenerate. Back to the calls. This okay. Is Jimbo in Pennsylvania. Hello, Jimbo. Hey, guys. Love the show. Um, mm-hmm. I was uh, I was calling up originally about uh, marshmallows, but I heard you talking about that they don't eat meat on the mothership and that they're going to be feeding us. Veggies that taste like meat. Yeah, and if uh, that's, you know, if that's what you want. But will you, all right, will you still be able to eat Iran's cock on a daily basis? Uh-huh. Well, uh, well, no. But I tell you what, uh, you keep on eating them over there where you are, son, and uh, you may become truly famous. Okay, you just keep on doing it, doing what you're doing. This is John in Colorado. Hello, John in Colorado. Hey guys, how's it going? Okay. Um, hey. I was uh, wondering in Colorado we have. Like, they're trying to push these new laws in to regulate marijuana like alcohol. Mm-hmm. Right. Kind of br- trying to branch away from the medical thing and just kind of fully legalize it to anyone over 21. And I was just wondering, you know, I know you're a weed guy, and I was wondering what your stance is on this whole ballot measure they're trying to push. Well, uh, all I know is that somewhere between forty and 60,000 people a year uh, die from alcohol-related accidents, and another 200,000 will die from alcohol poisoning. I have yet uh, to find any uh, reasonable number of people who have suffered anything, including a bad appetite, from smoking good herb. Okay. Do you, what about? Do you think they should make it legal to that so you can smoke Iran's cock in public? Uh, well, uh, not necessarily, but you keep on doing it in public out by the bathroom in the park. Just don't have no bag of candy trying to call little kids over there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Next call. This is Bill, Pennsylvania. Hello, Bill, Pennsylvania. Hey, guys. Uh, I heard uh, that Howard Stern's going to be having Herman Cain on his show. Oh, uh, okay. I mean, are you are you pissed off that he's having these other black retards on there and not you? <laughs> <laughs> no, I think I have it on good information that me, uh, the wife, uh, Iran, and my little white son, Matt Penta, are going to be going into the studio. I don't know if it'll be before Christmas, but maybe it might be after the first of the year, but we are going in to talk. <laughs> it's going to be like before or after you suck Iran's cock. Uh, well, no, son, you ought to quit that now because because that is not good for you, and it will spoil your reputation. And if the other people who know you hears your voice and know that it is you, then, you know, you ain't going to be able to ride in the pickup truck with him no more. <laughs> <laughs> now we know what a real retard is. Yeah, right. 